Here we go again. Here we go again. Got my wine in hand. Mm. And um, this should answer the question. I like answering questions, especially when I have the right answer. And this should answer the question there. Whichever subscriber asked me if I was, uh, if I ever drink white wine. And let me answer that question by saying, no, I am not a wine racist. <laughs> yes, I do drink white wine. Yes, I do. And it's just as good as the red. Mm. Mm. Depending on, on the occasion. All right. Let's get on down to what we came here for. All right. What I did is reading this book here, America, I discovered some stuff. And I started to put it out last week. I said, ah, wait, wait, maybe I won't put it out. I said, what the hell? Let's go and do it. It's the Sabbath. It's the end of the Sabbath right now. Or so I think it is. I'm still working on that one. All right. And uh, uh, when I was reading this book, I saw one place early in the book, actually, where it totally, totally connects the Bible and what these folks was doing out there and all of this good stuff. It's, it's really, really, yeah, really something kind of deep. Uh, they started talking about Esau. Yeah, they were talking about Esau and the book of Obadiah. But they had it all twisted because it, this is why it really, it, when you guys keep kicking against the Bible and stuff and and saying uh, we're indigenous, that ain't got nothing to do with us. Well, I'll tell you something different. This book that we love so much to read, and we've been, I've seen how, how certain people have put in videos out about this book and how the indigenous community was so happy and it got all thumbs up. But when you read, you start to realize that these folks was about the Bible, too. And they was thinking that they was doing something according to the Bible when they went over there, over when they came over here to discover America. Uh, hold on, let's go and get into it. And by the way, while I'm getting into this uh, one subscriber, I am really, really going to focus on you on the rest of my videos by trying to keep it clean so your daughters can watch my video. Thank you for that comment, by the way. All right, here we go. All right, All right, right here. We get into this thing. And I hope my wine is not going to have me hmm, too messed up to read. Because I'm going to tell you, these, these S's and F's right here, that's an S. And it messes me up sometimes when I'm trying to read them. And I'm, it, 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 it takes me back a little bit. But let's see if I can, I can get through this thing. All right, he says, uh, but what signifies all this to dis uh, discovery of America, which lies not only under the, the scorching heat of the equinox, but under the frost and snows of the Arctic and the Arctic Poles. So back there, they're telling you that America is, like they say, it's from, if you're looking at a globe, okay, we'll stay with the globe because people still seem to believe that, that uh, cartoon. Uh, so you're looking at the top of America, all, I mean, at the top of the globe to the bottom of a globe. And that's where America covers. It covers that whole area. When you when you think about a ball, it's at the top, it goes all the way down to the bottom. All right, continue to mark. Uh, yet, less probable is that which Ludwig Leo and, and Augustine Freya takes out of Obadiah. Augustine Friar, uh, a friar, of course, is a priest. But that wine hit me already. And uh, what is a priest talking about here? What's going on here? And it says, as if, as if the prophet in the three last verses of his prophecy should speak of the Spaniards. See, they was thinking that Obadiah was talking about the Spaniards being the Israelites for some reason. Or were they? Let's see. We should not only discover and conquer America. That's what they was thinking that Obadiah was about was to discover. And yes, this here emphatically proves that when Christopher Cologne or Christopher Columbus brought his self over here, that was one of those words. This is for you, guy. Uh, when he brought his self over here, uh, they were actually coming to seek out biblical things. Check it out again. Which should not only discover and conquer America. They think of that that's what the book of Obadiah was about for, was for the Spaniards to do so. It says, but also convert the inhabitants to the Christian faith because, because those, those that, that are, are in shepherd should inherit the prophet and process 
the cities of the south and saviors shall arise from the mountains of zion to judge the mount and wealth of esau so what they was thinking was the people over here were edomites notice that they were supposed to come they were thinking they was coming over here and uh, uh let's go back again right here and a and a savior shall arise from the mounts of zion to judge the mount and wealth of esau these people are crazy man i'm not gonna get into that esau white man thing because i don't really believe that i think esau is mixed he mixed himself with all nations but we'll, we'll, we'll continue to march here it said but certainly obadiah meant no other than the restoration of the jews from the captivity of babylon what they're doing is they're explaining that obadiah is not about uh, this time but they're thinking it was because of uh the captivity of babylon which if you read the small book of obadiah you will learn it's not true this thing is hasn't come yet i said let me go and reread this it says but certainly obadiah meant no other than the restoration of the jews from the cap uh captivity of babylon who after their return should grow more powerful than ever and they led by their messiahs obtained the height of all philosophy who would send his evangels and apostles to, to declare salvation on the utmost borders of the earth it is true that the, the ravens expound shepherds to spain and therefore he concludes that obadiah prophesied of the spaniard and the conquest in america so they would prove that america was long known before christ see look here people you got to understand that this is a uh, uh, this is a biblical thing they did coming over here and when you try to put that bible thing away it doesn't work that, that's that's why you're gonna find king james in this book you're gonna find uh uh these things about uh, esau in this book you're gonna find different biblical things throughout this and also when you remember the the last video no it wasn't the last video one of the videos i did where they had an, a european standing up like a goat yeah half goat half man european and all of these other black woolly haired people were standing around on the bottom that was i think that was one of the pictures down in uh, either southern mexico or either peru it might have been peru but this thing is biblical this is the book this is in the book okay let me go over here on the side here before we end Cross. this and it says uh and they of the south shall profess the mount of esau and they of the plains the philistines and they shall profess the fields of ephraim and the fields of samaria and benjamin shall profess gilead and the host of the children of israel shall possess that of the canaanites even unto zephra and the captivity of jerusalem which is in shepherd shall profess the cities of the south and the savior shall come upon the mount zion to judge the mount of esau and the kingdom shall be the lord's okay now again this is in that book the same book that we're that we we're talking about but we like i say we got to read these books and find out what's in them then after we find out what's in these books we got to connect some dots then we got a lot of dots connect if you turn away from that book called the bible you turn away a lot of history because remember king james bought his sorry uh, clean it up for you guy king, king james bought his sorry tale over here and nobody knew about it until we go into these old history books and we find out all right until the next one well it's this book is gonna come um, be a lot of videos i can see that now that's a lot of reading my head is hurting from all this reading but my brain is like man it's it's, it's like on steroids from all the muscles i'm getting for finally reading again anyway till next time thank you all take care Bye bye